Hi, it's Blake with Seven Sons Farms. And today I wanted to share with you the number one factor that ensures nutrient dense, healthy food. Believe it or not, it doesn't start at the grocery store with a fancy food label or fancy claim. It starts in our soil beneath our feet. So what I've done is I've collected a few samples on our farm uh, these samples uh, that I've collected, we've farmed very regeneratively for the last 20 years. So we've had, uh, the soil has been protected. We've been uh, infiltrating water. We're building uh, soil aggregate. And uh, I'm gonna compare that to some soil that is just uh, 50 feet away. Um, and, and, and that soil has been farmed very conventionally where it's been a corn bean rotation where we have, there hasn't been the focus of keeping the soil protected. And it'll be interesting for you to be able to see the difference and why that's important, not only to uh, be able to have healthy soils and healthy food, but also to our environment and what the, the negative effects that that can have. So the soil aggregate is a, is a glue-like substance that will hold our soil together. So as I pull this clump of soil apart, you'll notice that it kind of looks like a little bit like a chocolate cake after it's baked and you're looking at it and there's a bunch of pore spaces in there. That is what we want. We want that soil aggregate to be there so that it allows pore spacings to help the water to be able to infiltrate. So you'll notice as I pull this uh, chunk of soil apart, this soil has been farmed very conventionally and compared to our soil, you'll notice that this soil stays together. It's all clumpy, um, really dense. Uh, as I hold it here, it's, it's really heavy. Uh, that plating is actually compaction layers and that is uh, hindering the plant's ability to actually go down and pull nutrients out of the soil and make it available to the plant. So this next test that we're doing is a water infiltration test. So we're going to simulate a rain on top of these different, uh, these two different soils here. So let's go ahead and make it rain. And as I dump this in, this would represent about an inch of rainfall. And I want you to watch and just observe and see what is happening uh, as it uh, begins to, to rain. And you can see that it's basically uh, demonstrating what uh, a rain would look like. So what does this mean and what have we learned by going through these two soil demonstrations today? When we look over here at the, uh, the water infiltration test, uh, the one uh, coming off of our pasture, uh, the water that uh, ran off was very minimal and the water that did run off was very clean. Um, over here, we had a lot of water that ran off and the water that did run off was not very clean. And we talked about all the nutrients and the chemicals and the fertilizers that went down uh, the stream and off of the land into our, uh, into our, uh, our watershed. Um, let's talk about the water infiltration. Because we have soil aggregate here, we were able to infiltrate the water. The water went through and actually went all the way through and somewhere into this pan. A lot of it stayed in the soil and we're able to basically hold the water in place and grow more grass and basically complete that nutrient cycle and feed the life and actually build upon the soil aggregate that is already there, creating more minerally rich soil. Over here, we do not have that. We do not have water infiltrating. We had just a little bit infiltrate the bottom here in this corner. Most of it ran off. So therefore, um, meaning there isn't any life, no soil aggregates in this soil here um, to help build it. Uh, we would need to get it covered. We need to get living roots back on this soil. And it can happen. We can change agriculture, but we have to start getting living roots back onto the land. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would highly recommend that you head on over to our website and sign up for our free virtual farm tour, where you'll learn more about how our land and our animals mutually work together to build healthy soils. And more importantly, how it benefits our environment and ultimately all of us. Thanks for watching.